Hey, good morning, guys. I am Faja here, sitting in the I am Faja compound with the I am Faja laptop. Dun dun dun. Okay, um, if you haven't watched the video, uh, the first video in this series, um, uh, capturing with Dazzle's instant DVD recorder, you want to go watch that first. There should be a link that has just popped up or has been popped up on this video. You want to watch that in order to do this. Uh, if you don't want to do it, fine. Uh, today we're going to talk about Windows Movie Maker and how you can put movies on YouTube or any uh, file sharing, uh, video sharing site for almost nothing. Uh, a lot of you guys out there in GB, Game Battles, hoorah! Uh, MLG, you like to have that photo evidence of your win. This is an easy way to do it for under a hundred dollars. Excuse me, under a, under fifty dollars. Okay, <clears throat> we've already talked about capturing video, and today we're going to talk about Windows Movie Maker. Windows Movie Maker, uh, from everything that I can tell, came in came in uh, was produced in uh, 2004. I'm just going to tell you right now, I don't know a lot about it because <clears throat> I used it for like a month and I got frustrated as hell, so I bought some editing software, all right? Uh, so if I say something in here that really doesn't make sense or that you know for a fact is, uh, is not right, don't post a bunch of fucking garbage on the goddamn site. Get your own site, do your own fucking video, and let other people call you out. Now that I got that out of my system, I feel better. But Windows Movie Maker has been out since about 2004, and it comes standard on most machines that are uh, Windows Explorer based. Uh, there is another program out there called Windows Live Movie Maker, which is an update to this one, and we'll talk about that if these uh, little videos seem to be a hit and people like them. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to delve right into <clears throat> the, um, the the gist of it. And we're going to talk about making or telling a story. <clears throat> if you get real deep into video editing, uh, there's three steps to a movie. There's uh, importing the footage, there's editing the footage, and then there's making the movie. Uh, a lot of people call that rendering. I like to call it rendering too, rendering the movie. That's actually when you take everything that is on your storyboard, which is down here, and you take 15, 16, 17, 100 dis different pieces of either footage or transitions or titles or credits or fades or wipes, and you put them in to make one thing that shows up. Um, I don't know if people really truly appreciate the time and uh, that goes into making a, a 10 minute video for um, for YouTube. Uh, most of the time the rendering process uh, can be as much as four and a half hours. That's after you've done everything to it and set it down to start making the movie. You might have 15 or 20 hours in it of just editing, cutting and pasting and swiping and adjusting and all that, but y'all don't want to hear that. Okay, here we go. First thing to do before you can edit anything is you've got to get your footage. <clears throat> what we're going to do today, since Beast's footage is better than mine, we're going to play with his. We're simply going to go to our video folders. We've talked about this before. We're going to go import media. We're going to go to my uh, video folder, and we're going to import. <clears throat> now this is the footage that we're going to use. Uh, you're just going to have to take my word for it because I don't think you can see it. But over here on this side, uh, that shows that this clip is from 0 seconds to 25.35 seconds long. Well, <clears throat> that's a little bit long, and here's why. Let's just take a second to look at it. If we hit play, we'll notice, and let me go ahead and mute this. Uh, you'll notice that it shows him... Uh, about five seconds before he actually runs out and actually kills somebody and then he kills somebody again and he kills somebody again okay well he started killing at about seven seconds and he stopped killing at about 15 seconds well this clip is 25 seconds long so that's 10 seconds of him run leading up to the actual footage we want to see and about 10 seconds of uh, footage after he's done shooting that we don't want to see okay people in a movie don't want to see bullshit or people coming to your YouTube site so this is where you gotta learn to take footage out that you don't need 
So we realize we want to use this footage, so we're simply going to drag it down here to the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to highlight it by left clicking on it, and we're going to hit play. Now, I use the three second rule, and I'm just going to stop this and I'm going to tell you why. The three second rule says that any transition, which is something that it's an effect that you put between two clips, you'll see them right down here in a minute, they go in this box, um, needs about three seconds of the clip that it's coming out of to three seconds of the clip that it's going into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this roll right over here. We're going to see that his, we're going to start and stop it. All right, we're going to see that his first shot is at 8.0 seconds. So what I want to do is I want to grab the uh, slider and I want to move it back to 5 something. So that tells me that um, my transition, in other words, what I'm trying to say to you is, is don't cut your clip so close that your transition covers up the shot. <clears throat> Now, I'm going to simply hit split right over here, and I want you to watch down here. I want you to watch this area right down here, okay? What's going to happen is one is going to become two. Now, what we have done is we've started with our original 25-second footage. You'll see it's 25.35, and when we clip on this one right here, the footage now starts at 5.0 and goes to 25.35, so we've gotten rid of that first <clears throat> set of footage. If I click on this, we see him running out of the back of the building. If we click on this, it picks up right there. <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this footage. We're just going to click on remove, hit this and play, and 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,004. Okay, there we go. Now again, the rule about that <clears throat> is because if you do not leave enough footage at the beginning of your main shot and enough footage at the end of your main shot your trans uh, your uh, your transition and that's over here we will talk about that in a little bit will actually cover up the meat and the potatoes <clears throat> of the shot that you're trying to forecast or project okay so now we're going to click on this here now we're at um, all right he's at his first shot <clears throat> all right there's the second shot Third shot, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,004. Now we're going to cut that. Now you'll notice that we're at 13.47. The remainder of the clip is 20.29, so that's about 5, 6 seconds that we can get rid of. So we're going to split clip again. And notice that this footage stayed over there. This footage came over here. And notice that 1... Okay, that's the footage that we didn't want to see. So now we're going to right click on this. We're going to hit remove <clears throat> and we're going to hit play. Now, let's see. There's the first shot and there's the second shot. And 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> so now we got room on the front and the back. And uh, we're running up on about... Um, eight and a half seconds here so what we're going to do is we're going to finish this one up and we're going to go into windows movie maker 2. Uh, look for uh, the next video in this series it should already be up just follow the link that's going to appear at the bottom of the page and we're going to pick up right where we left off right here thanks guys see you on the other side bye